What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. <laughs> I just bought this atomic lighter. Uh, so I was kind of up late uh, one night and watching my buddy, what's his name, Hunter Ellis, uh, pitching more atomic brand products. You saw my atomic beam flashlight and atomic lantern, I think, reviews in previous videos. And they're off pitching this, this like plasma lighter. So of course I had to buy it. 20 bucks 30 if you order two but I don't need to to demonstrate them looks like the back will tear open here and the cool thing about it is it kind of looks like a taser I mean, and I'm assuming that's kind of what it's like you know it's it, it you charge it up it's electric kind of creates this like taser like um, lightning bolt whoa it's getting all torn oh look at this I can buy uh, an enchanting diamond ring well I'm gonna say it's not diamond for 20 bucks. Oh, an enchanting CZ ring. Cubic zirconia, if you haven't seen that. We have some instructions here. Looks like the charging bolt, port, and micro USB connector uh, get together at the bottom. Looks like there's a power switch, so you don't have to worry about it going on. And then looks like the activation button is on the side. And we have a LED indicator and their little plasma connectors. Kind of reminds me of like a dilithium chamber, you know, where they inject the matter and antimatter onto the dilithium crystal, right? Whatever. If you don't know what that is, loser. All right, so how do we get this bad boy out of here? Because that's in plastic right here. Oh, it's another piece of plastic, man. This thing is... All right, get rid of that. So we do have a micro USB cable. I don't know if this thing is charged up at all. But let me get rid of this crapola too. Uh, and then here is the lighter. So <laughs> um, that's what it looks like. It's actually fairly, feels kind of substantial. I just pulled off this little warning tag or how to use tag, I guess. Um, it actually has nice weight. So it's some sort of like aluminum bodied. So it's not plastic. Which is interesting from ball pad has like a zippo like top it's very square oh it's under spring load attention so if i just push it it wants to flip up all the way so i mean man it opens really easily i almost would like a little clip here just so that i don't have to worry about it yep you can do that you don't have to do it very hard because it kind of has a heavy spring tension um some knurling around the top edge of the bottom case and the cap atomic lighter silk screen there and some knurling down here as well and then here's the the, uh, the control end of it off on there's that little LED light which I'm not seeing anything on which should be hopefully good and that's where you recharge it I will say there's no rubber plug or anything so they're gonna take this outdoors and this doesn't necessarily seem super robust little plastic you know switch there you know, if this were to get submerged in water, I could easily see this not working ever again. And there doesn't seem to be any, like, rubber gasket around the, the cap, so I would definitely not necessarily get it wet. It's interesting that there are fingerprints on the top portion here. I don't think I touched it, but maybe I did coming out. And then if we just go in here, I bet you're wondering what this looks like. Well, it looks like we have some electrode-like terminals, four of them, kind of crisscrossing. So I'm assuming, like, a positive and negative in opposite corners and then let's see if we can get this thing to work and then we'll try burning stuff with it all right so i'm going to turn it on here here is the power button okay so it's not that loud kind of sounds a little bit like a like a dog whistle or something but what you'll see there let me see if i can get in on that for you what kind of works is And the button, it's really easy to press. Seems to be working pretty well. Now I do have a piece of paper here. This is not just like, um, you know, Xerox paper. It's a little thicker like cardstock. So I'm gonna give it a little try here and see what it does. Huh. Got, it, got it going. Hmm. It's gonna set off a smoke alarm. So that's kind of cool. 
Uh, one thing I will say is that it was a little interesting because the paper interrupted the stream. And I don't know if that's going to hurt it, but no, I guess it does go through that. But as opposed to, you know, I'm kind of curious, I'll have to go out and find a little piece of wood or something and see if this plasma will continue to burn through that because I feel like something thick, you know, if I put a flame up to a stick, you know, the stick doesn't, you know, extinguish the flame. And so if I hold it there long enough, it can kind of get the stick on fire. I feel like the problem here potentially is if you're, you know, interrupt this connection with something that is, takes a little bit longer to ignite. Uh, it might just disrupt the, the flow of the plasma or, you know, whatever the electricity jumping from the, the terminals. And when you do that, then you just don't have the heat to light something. So let's try something a little harder than paper and see if that works. All right, guys, so I've got the lighter and I have this little stick. Look how zoomed in I am. This is a very little stick. And I thought, why not give this a little try and see how it does, you know, when it's something a little bit bigger. Now, I will tell you right off the bat, this end of the stick is actually too big to get in here. So I'm going to start with the, the smaller end, which is just like the bark portion. And this is birch, so it should burn quite, quite well. But that's enough to get in there. So let's go ahead and try this first and just see how it goes. Turn it back on after charging it. All right, actually, I'm kind of impressed. Actually, it lit up better than I thought, but it's not igniting yet per se. But that's not bad. Now, I'm sure I could kind of play around with this and you to get that, but that's actually as good as like a big lighter, in my opinion. Still kind of smoking like a punk. We, uh, because this won't fit in there, you know, between these electrodes, I'm going to kind of put it on the side here, maybe on the back side, so we get a little visual of it and see how this works. So that, so I did get that lit too. So that's that's good. Um, what was interesting there is at some point I had it like blocking everything enough that it, nothing was connecting and it kind of dis, you know, disengaged the little plasma streams or electric or whatever it is. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed that it's kind of flowing through there and kind of getting this thing lit. So actually, I, I think this lighter is kind of impressive. Um, now I will say $20 for a lighter, right? You can go out and buy cheap lighters for a buck. Uh, so this is kind of cool. I'm not sure if I need this per se, but it is kind of cool to have a lighter that is fully electric that you can just charge up and take with you. Again, I'm a little worried about its durability out in adverse conditions or inclement weather. And uh, the last thing I will say about this is that because I paid $19.99 for it, 20 bucks for this lighter, I'm kind of guessing you can get it without the Atomic Lighter brand, probably online for six or seven dollars. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of guessing that there's a generic version out there without all the marketing for 65% uh, less. Just my guess, if you want it and you want to save some money. But it's all right. Peter Von Panda, out.